someone called me and asked, hey, what would you do today? How are things going? And I said, I was studying. And they said, studying? Studying what? And I said, I was studying my business. I was um, looking at my performance in certain areas. I was looking deeper into the, the niches that I serve. I was looking at uh, new techniques and new strategies. I was observing um, my numbers. Um, you know, I was really studying my business. And I bring this up because if you're in business, a large portion of what you do should be studying your business. And a lot of business people don't do that. They, they work day to day and they, they might even study some of the areas of their business very narrowly. They might look at a trade publication or something like that. But the idea of broadening your scope and just understanding your business in a comprehensive way, understanding your clients, understanding marketing, sales, operations, uh, looking at new techniques and strategies, looking deeper into your industry, looking at your own performance, looking at your own evolution. This is something you should do. I saw somewhere, I think Bill Gates uh, devotes think time uh, to uh, his uh, his work, his enterprises, and his various investments and projects. And this is something I've always done. I've always enjoyed, particularly, particularly if I'm on a business trip, taking an extra day to just think about the meetings, the business, the, um, uh, just what I'm involved in, and to, to, to savor those moments and to really enjoy the business, but also think about and get new insights and refresh my ideas about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Sometimes when I speak to business people, I can tell that they don't do this. Their view of their business is frozen in time. And while I believe that you have to apply older methodology and mix it with newer methodology, um, you have to be careful that you don't stay locked in a point of time because business approaches uh, change continually. And there are fundamentals, but there are some things that are new. You know, of course, there's technology that's new all the time. There's, um, there, there are new expectations. There's new language. There are new metrics. There are new pathways. There are a whole range of new tools. And if you don't understand that, you will be left behind. So you've got to study your business. Now, what does that mean? It means you sit down and you go step by step. Now, hopefully, you take notes in your business. You know, I'm a big note taker, so I have lots of notes about things I want to implement, ideas I want to uh, implement. I might map out visually. Okay, here's how this all lays out. Here's how this all works. Here's how these ideas intersect. Here's how the sales process might flow, or the marketing process, whatever the specific area of the business is. Um, you've got to really look at your business as a masterpiece that you're constantly working on and refining. And that means studying new ways to get results, new ways to find new leads, for example, new ways to talk to them, new uh, approaches. Uh, let's say you're you're, you're talking about email marketing. What's you know what's what's a great headline that's worked really well? What's the body of the of the of that's worked real well? What happens if I don't email for a while and then I restart a little later? What impact does that have on the business? Are there um, seasonal differences and changes in the business that uh, have an impact? Um, do I get better responses from male or female? Uh, what about geography? What about um, how, uh, um, you know, sometimes you, you know, here's an example. You might have a client base that is uniform in their interests, but not uniform in the designation or the title or the way they categorize themselves or what they call themselves. So that understanding that issue alone can help you when it comes to tracking down the right people to take advantage of your offers.
there's just so much to learn when it comes to business and that's the fun of it the fun of it is being able to dig in and say wow I discovered something new about what I'm doing I discovered that this would work better than, than the other. And I discovered that if I apply myself in this way, look at the impact that I can have. Um, it's a fascinating thing. It's one of the joys of running a business. And what's even better is when you study the business and something comes out that you didn't expect, some kind of knowledge or insight comes out that you didn't expect and it becomes your own uh, element that you can really focus on. You know, some of the uh, high-end um, brands that I work with and they're in, into custom products and they're into what we call bespoke in, in luxury, for example. They are um, often surprised when the artistry reveals something that they didn't anticipate. And that's an exciting moment. Oh, wow, look at how these colors work together. Look at how these fabrics work together. Look at how this process looks. Look at this mistake I made. And look at how it turned out. I've had a lot of mistakes I've made in business. And those mistakes have often revealed things that um, I wouldn't have known otherwise. You know, it's like the discovery of penicillin. But... So my point to you is study your business, make time to study your business, make an ongoing process of collecting data, collecting information. I always say that a business um, generates lots of information all the time. It's telling you things all the time. And if you can listen to that, um, see it, work with it, you'll learn more and that business will be much more effective. Uh, and you'll be more effective at it. You'll perform better at it. Uh, so give it, give it a shot. Make study something that you do deliberately. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Share with someone in your network. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.